الله اكبر After gaining a traumatic brain injury, many veterans are out of work, so I went to go talk to AJ Anderson, who specializes in employment at an organization called Jewish Family and Children's Services of Minneapolis. Alright, what first made you interested in a traumatic brain injury? Um, I have a lot of friends who suffer from TBIs, traumatic brain injuries. Um, I also work with veterans who are experiencing traumatic brain injuries. Um, it was, I'm, I mean, my area is employment, but I do, I do work with individuals that um, are dealing with the symptoms of tra traumatic brain injury and helping them gain employment. Um, so I guess what made me kind of got in, get into the area is, like I said, my friends who are suffering from it, um, the veterans I work with, and me being a military veteran myself. because uh, I'm normally very in control of myself. And with my brain injury, I just, I couldn't speak right, I couldn't act right, and it was something I couldn't the, control. The migraine headaches and insomnia and changes in, in mood and pleasure and things that, you know, I used to enjoy, I didn't enjoy nearly as much as I used to. This is a graph giving the number of service members diagnosed with traumatic brain injury worldwide from 2000 all the way to 2015. Can, can a soldier ever be a list into, you know, into the military? Yeah. Um, with a traumatic brain yeah, injury? Traumatic. Um, as, as far as I know, um, Yes, they can. I know a lot of uh, veterans do re-enlist, um, and a lot of traumatic brain, brain injuries go undiagnosed. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's one of the things that um, come into play. Now, as far as them if, knowing that they, this individual has a traumatic brain injury, um, I would say no, um, that they can't. But a lot of veterans don't get the care that they need. Um, Most common long-term effects associated with traumatic brain injury. Um, I know with some of the, the veterans that I've worked with, um, a lot of the long-term effects are Alzheimer's. Um, that's that's a de degenerative disease, um, and also a lot of uh, veterans are dealing with uh, depression, and mental health barriers, and barriers, anxiety, um, and also the symptoms of PTSD are also associated with it work with. Um, they apply for um, benefits, disability benefits, so a lot of veterans that do come home, um, they go to the VA um, and link up with uh, um, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, which is Iraq and Afghanistan representatives, um, and they will walk through them how to apply for disability benefits and whatnot. And you can help add to a person's life by going to their website JFCS and donating.